Barrel at Cajun Cooking TV. And if you're looking for a great recipe for summer squash, I've got one just for you. So stay tuned. I'm making a summer squash casserole today and actually Mike has planted several plants in a garden outside and I wanted to show you and I already have some squash in the making. So this little crookneck squash, they're coming along outside. They're just about this big now, but he did buy me some from the store. So I've got about five um, kind of, you know, they're about the size of my hand here. Sometimes they're a lot bigger, a lot smaller, but um, so we have these. And I've sliced, I've rinsed them and sliced them into about quarter inch slices. So just took off the ends like that and just sliced them into rounds. Really easy. And meanwhile, I have the skillet here, a large 12 inch skillet on a medium heat. And I have some olive oil to cover the bottom because first, since it's a casserole, I'm going to make it into a good kind of one pot meal at the same time. I've got some olive oil heating. I can smell it heating up. And I have one pound of lean ground beef. So we're going to brown this and then toss in our squash and onions to get those simmered. And we are going to put together a delicious casserole. Okay, y'all, I've browned our meat. That didn't take long in the skillet. So I'm just moving it to a little glass bowl here. And now we're gonna cook our um, onions and squash and I also have some garlic. So I'm gonna use that uh, oil that we already had here and the drippings just to do all of this at one time. Try and use one pot. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm gonna mix this up, let it go for a minute and then toss in the squash. So I'm back and it's been about 10 minutes. I had the lid on most of the time and I periodically every minute came back and stirred it with, um, you know, two, two spatulas. But I want to show if Mike can zoom in on it, why uh, I think it's done compared to what I wouldn't. I want to show you what's the difference between the color and what I'm looking for for it to be done. Just like when you're cooking onions, I wanted it to be translucent. So this one is still white, like it was still raw. But these, you can see, have already turned translucent. So that meat of the squash and the, the uh, what do you call it, the peel, the outside skin is now softer than this one. So this one, you know, could go another minute, but I am going to bake it as well. But that's what I was looking for. And you don't want to keep going too much further because then it'll be too mushy. You don't want to be mushy, especially in the casserole. All right, so what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to take, I'm trying to do everything in this one, one pot. I'm going to take it, move it to a bowl, and then use the same pan. I'm going to make a cream sauce, and then eventually I'm just going to put it all back together. And we're going to bake this all together. So I'm going to turn this off for a minute while I get all this into this other bowl here. All right, so I have one tablespoon of butter. And this, uh, I'm going to make a little cream sauce here. Melt this butter. Ooh, you can smell those onions. Get that good and melted. 
And then I have one cup of heavy whipping cream and then a half a cup, about a half a cup of sour cream or half of an eight ounce container. So I'm gonna get this poured in. I'm gonna cover that. And then put this in and we're gonna heat this all together. And let it get bubbly. And we're gonna make a little white cheese sauce. Easy peasy. All right, I got my um, white sauce here getting to a boil. I'm gonna let it thicken for a minute. So while it's doing that, let me show you about the crust we're gonna put on this. Got my rolling pin. So normally, I normally put on um, breadcrumbs and Parmesan, but I'm gonna try uh, some, some of the Keebler butter crackers. I took a whole sleeve and I've done half of them already and I crushed them with a rolling pin. It's pretty easy and fun. So you just wanna crush them. All right, so I've got these just in a bowl. And while I was off camera, I had three tablespoons of butter. And I melted that in the microwave just for like 20 seconds. So I'm just going to pour that in here to coat on our breadcrumbs. And I'm going to put in our Parmesan cheese, half a cup of Parmesan cheese. So my sauce is about ready. I went ahead and turned off the burner because this one stays hot longer. But you might be wondering, how can I tell if it's ready or not? And for me, what I'm looking for is for it to uh, be able to move around like this and it's not filling in. It's not filling in on itself. So it's thick and what I'm looking for. So I've got that turned off. So I'm gonna do about a cup of cheese. You wanna make sure your burner's off and stop the cooking process before you melt cheese. And of course, grating my own cheese would be better, but that is certainly quick. It does melt a little better. All righty, that's gonna be great. It's incorporated all the salt, pepper, all the flavors from the beef. That's looking good. All right. So now I want to mix all this together. Maybe I should get a big, big, giant bowl. Mike says yes. Give me a spoon. Can you come get this bowl from me? It's got our ground meat. And it's so good. I wanted to keep eating it just by itself. I don't want to tear it up, so I'm just going to fold it. And then I'm going to take our sauce and do the same thing. I'm just folding it without really stirring. Just moving it around to incorporate all that uh, cheese sauce. All right, I'm gonna take the rest of my little cheese here because Mike likes cheese. That's up to you. We like some cheese. Use up that. And then I have my little mixture of breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese and butter. So I wanna sprinkle that across here too for our crunchy. All right, so I have the oven on 350. Spread this around. Another thing you could do instead of um, breadcrumbs or um, the crushed crackers like we've done here is the French onion. You know, like you would do on a green bean casserole. 
that would also work. So I'm gonna put this in the oven uncovered for about 25 minutes. It's on 350, so we'll see you then. But before I show you our final result, I wanted to make sure you know that we have a cookbook. It's available on our website at Cajun Cooking TV. The actual cookbook is called Cajun Cooking Made Easy. And in this cookbook, we have about 100 recipes of things we've already cooked and videoed, and Mike has the links for those. But um, here on page 21, we already had a squash, uh, smothered squash recipe here. So I was delighted to find that. The link will be down in the description below. And one more thing, if you like this video, please be sure to give us the thumbs up. It really helps our channel. And remember to subscribe and press that bell notification. Are you ready to see? It is so good. Woo, that's some pretty casserole right there. Woo, it's hot, don't touch it. Earlier, this is a great casserole if you need to bring something to somebody's house. You can, um, you know, plan to bake it at their house or bake it right before you leave. That's kind of what I do sometimes. If I'm going to my dad's or whatever and I need to bring something, I just, time it where I'm bringing it already cooked. So that squash is soft, but it's not mushy. Remember how I showed you how to tell? So I like that. So let me see if I can get a bite here. This bowl is already hot. <laughs> mm. surprise myself sometimes this is darn good and I do like it better excuse me I do like it better with the cracker crumbs and that butter it just gives a whole different level of taste I really like it so again I'll put the recipe down in the description so you don't have to go anywhere it's just right there for you try it it's a great summer squash casserole with ground meat and a nice white cheese sauce we will love it and I'm ready to go eat some. So see you next time. It's a wrap.